I said, uh, I'm the, uh, Sonny Bradley. I'm the commander of the American Legion uh, Post 36 here in Rochester. Uh, today, as Rose President Roosevelt declared it, it, we remember a day that <coughs> we're living in on December the 7th, 1941, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, an act that pulled the United States into the Second World War. Perhaps the darkness of the darkest of most costly in civilization altering conflict in the history of of human service human existence oral historian studs turkle called it the the good war and and while no war is truly good this con this conflict pitted <coughs> institutional tyranny against champions of religious and civil liberty and the value of individual human life. In the end, at an unimaginable cost, freedom prevailed. Today we're remembering those who paid this price to secure a victory for hope and virtue. We offer this prayer of thanks for the strength of resolve. Now I'll turn it over to our chaplain. Thank you, Sonny. Let us pray. Dear God, not everything that happens in your world reflects your goodness and grace. You have given us freedom to choose. And with that freedom, sometimes we choose to do evil. Today we remember a time of great evil in our world. We remember Pearl Harbor. We also remember those who stood their ground against that great evil. Those who fought here at home and on the battlefronts to ensure that evil would not prevail. We thank you that in the hour of need you gave our men and women the strength and resolve to stand at whatever cost. May those brave souls who still remain here with us, feel today your hand of favor and strength. In their last years here on earth, give them renewed hope and an awareness of our gratitude for their bravery and sacrifice. May we never forget them, and may you honor them according to the grace you gave in those days and according to their response to that grace, then and now, in the name of Jesus, amen. Turn it over to the mayor. Yes. Oh. We'll now turn this over to our mayor, uh, Ted Denton. Good morning. First of all, I want to thank you for having me here today. It's a great privilege. Uh, like former Mayor Smiley, uh, I was not alive during Pearl Harbor, but both of our fathers were around during that period of time. Many of you weren't alive but your fathers and mothers were alive during that period of time. They're from the uh, group we call the greatest generation. And what we remember about Pearl Harbor, and we need to keep telling the story to the generations to come, because it was not only about a very brave bunch of sailors and civilians who were killed to the tune of uh, over 2,000 that day, with 1,000 being wounded, but it was about the families back home and how they approached December the 8th, the day after Pearl Harbor. This whole country went to war the next day. We had students who missed classes that day on December the 8th, but unlike students who missed classes after our election, they didn't go to see grief counselors, they didn't go to protest, they didn't go to cry over something that didn't happen right in our country. They went in masses to enlist and fight against tyranny and uh, the folks who were trying to bring this country down, both in the Pacific and in Europe. We had a whole country. We had mothers and daughters who left their homes and took jobs in factories 
so that their husbands, boyfriends, sons could go to war. You remember the term Rosie the Riveter? Those were the people who went to war in 1941. Even the children would go around doing paper drives, collecting tin cans and old tires to support the war effort. The whole country came together, putting aside race, religion, sex, and political convictions, they all became Americans standing tall to protect and keep our country safe. Please, tell the story of Pearl Harbor whenever you can to the next generations. And remember that God bless America. Thank you. Now turn this over to John Liebarger. This now concludes our ceremony. Thank you for coming. <laughs>